Hey, hey, good morning, my caffeinated friends. I'm Dawn Robles, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today we are in week three of my Christmas countdown. So, another bringing you another easy project. Um, I simply used our pre made pizza boxes, used a little bit of designer series paper. I used the gift wrapped stamp set bundle. So, the bundle comes with the stamp set and a punch this time. So you get the, the bow, the center for the bow and a cute little tag. So like I said, very quick and easy. The longest thing that's going to take place today is actually doing the embossing on the bow and the tag. So I used that. I also used the designer series paper. Tis the season. Now this is actually on sale until October 31st. I think you can get a pack of 6 by 6 48 sheets for like $9 and I think it's 78 cents. But you can always double check right there at my online store, caffeinatedcraftlady.stampinup.net. Now, so I'm using that. Isn't that pretty? I'm looking forward to creating a Christmas card with this dear paper. And then you flip it over and you got a bunch of other fabulous prints. So it's beautiful, beautiful paper. But today we're going to keep it fun. We're going to play with the candy cane. So the supplies that you're going to need is our pre-made pizza boxes. You can find those in the catalog. I think you can get eight of them for right around $6, I believe it is. We're going to use two sheets of a shaded spruce. Not two sheets, but two cuts of shaded spruce, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. A piece of Whisper White that is cut at three by three. A piece of Designer Series paper cut at three by three. Now, on my original box here, I, I did three and an eighth by three and an eighth because I wanted a smaller border. But if you cut it at three and a three, three by three, you can actually get four cuts out of one six by six sheet of paper. So that's why I did that. Then I have two strips of half inch by three and a quarter, and this is gonna make the ribbon. And you can actually use ribbon too, however I don't have any, so I had to improvise. I need a piece of scrap whisper right white to do my bow, a piece of scrap shaded spruce, to do my tag and then a piece of scrap whisper white to uh, make my actual tag here and this is cut at about one and one and three eighths and then the length I'll just cut off when I get done and see what I need so okay let's go ahead and do our stamping first and I'll show you how to do that and I will be using the embossing tool, so it may get a little bit loud. The colors that I'm using today are Real Red Shaded Spruce and the Versamark with a white embossing powder. So, I'm going to go ahead and make my label here, wrapped especially for you. Now, I'm going to use the box to create... Um, a little box for the homemade fudge that I always give out but for right now I actually just put a Mrs. Fields cookie in it and as you can see we have to decorate the inside of the box as well so another good use for this is you know it doesn't show all the grease because it does have the um, the wax lining so my daughter makes um, beautiful uh, royal icing cookies and she can also use these boxes to give out her her treats at Christmas time so then I'm just going to simply ink up my message and stamp it towards that bottom of that uh, scrap piece of paper and you can even make that a little bit smaller if you want so I've got that that in a minute. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and emboss a bow. So I'm going to create, I'm going to cut two red uh, bows, but one's going to be embossed and one is just to give it a little bit of dimension. So 
To do that, since we no longer have our embossing buddy, which I miss, I just simply took a used uh, dryer sheet, like a bounce, and you're just going to rub that over your paper. It makes it smell good, and it takes the static off of your paper so your uh, excess embossing powder doesn't stick. Now there's multiple bows that you can use in here, but I'm going to go ahead and use the one with a bunch of lines because I think that is just beautiful. So I'm going to bring my stamp in here and my Versamark and I'm going to tap and just make sure that is nice and juicy so it holds all of the embossing powder. And I think I'll stamp it this way so I can get two cuts out of this. I'm just going to give it a good press like I always do. And then as you can see, you can barely see it. Um, but when you bring in your embossing powder, it will really boost it up. Now, I like to use a coffee filter when I do this. That way it catches the excess and I can filter it right back into my uh, container without any waste. Well, let's face it. I'm messy, so there's always waste, but <laughs> and there we go. Now, if you get a little bit of excess embossing powder, you can just take a paintbrush and just kind of remove those pieces right there. And if you think it needs more, then you just put a little more in there. Oh, I messed it up, you see? Okay, and then we would do the same for the little tag. I wanted a little pop of color, so I went ahead and brought in the shaded spruce, and I'm going to use the tag. And again, I'm going to tap that in the Versamark. Stamp it down, and then it came with the three little snowflakes or stars, whatever you want to call them. And I'm just going to add that in there for a little pop and the great thing about these stamps are they you can see right through them so you know exactly where you're stamping and you can throw them down like I do <laughs> okay and then again we'll just go ahead and cover that up and I forgot to use the dryer sheet on there but that's okay it looks like it's doing good so we'll go ahead and heat emboss that so let me do that super quick and it gets a little bit loud so while I'm doing that if you don't have a current demonstrator and you'd like a catalog please give me a, a call or reach out to me and I'll get one in the mail to you if you are placing an order and it is $150 if you could use my October hostess uh, code I would appreciate that and I will send a special little thank you in the mail to you. Now, I think I I got some embossing paste. I didn't get my dryer sheet on there well enough, so but we're going to go ahead and, and go with it. So I'm going to cut out a blank bow. So, and I don't need all the extra pieces, so I didn't worry about that. And I'm going to come over here and cut out my bow, line it up. Sometimes I think that the lining things up is what takes the longest when you create a project. And so you have your embossed um, bow and you have your blank bow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pump that up in dimensionals and just give it a little bit of dimension. Oh, and we forgot to stamp the inside of the box. We'll come back to that. So I'm on the embossed bow, I'm gonna go ahead and put my dimensional. So I'm gonna put two on the big, I'm gonna put a little mini dimensional in the middle and a mini dimensional on the end of each bow. Let's see. I am going to, so I want it more on this side here. I 
And then what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of offset it just a teeny tiny bit. So I'm going to see if I can show you how to do that. Just going to pick it up and just offset it just a tiny bit just so you can see a little bit of dimension there. And then I'm just going to press it down so you, it's kind of like you got a three-dimensional bow. Okay, let's go ahead and stamp the inside too. Let me get rid of, I told you guys I am a messy, messy stamper here. I forgot to stamp the inside of the box, so let's go ahead and get that done. We'll just bring our pieces on over here. And I'm just going to simply stamp on the inside. I said, um, a very Merry Christmas. I'm just going to place that right in the center. And if you want to sign this, you can always sign it. There's leaves you a place to sign. So I'm going to do one little thing. I'm going to take my uh, Real Red ink, and then I'm going to come back to those stars. But I have to clean it first because I don't want to ruin my ink pad. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that. And I'm going to ink that up. And I'm just going to kind of on either side of my Merry Christmas. Cute, right? And then I'm going to glue that to the shaded spruce. And then I'm going to glue my DSP to the other piece of the shaded spruce. And my ink was still a little bit red. I mean, a little bit wet. <laughs> That's why I like to stamp before. But, you know, things happen and you just keep going. The great thing about crafting is there are no mistakes. Well, there are, but we just don't have to admit to them to anyone. <laughs> okay, so I've got that. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach my, my fake ribbon, kind of line that up where I think I might like it. Close it up a little bit. That way I have room to add my tag as well. Make sure you do it straight and not crooked like yours truly. And there I've got that. So now I'm just simply going to uh, assemble my pizza box. And this is so easy because everything is done for you. Just take the little excesses of paper out. All you're going to do is fold on your score lines. And make sure you fold on all of them because normally I always miss a score line. If you watch my other videos that I have created using this box, you will see that I always miss a score line. So I'm getting better at it. And then you're going to fold your flaps right here in. And you're simply going to take this piece here and fold it over and tuck it into the grooves right there. See how that is? To do the, while we have it open, let's go ahead and glue our inside in. And I am using the Stampin' Seal Plus simply because it does have a waxy coating. And I have noticed that this Stamp and Seal Plus holds it beautifully in place. And I love that. That's like my favorite glue. 
it's better than the fast fuse was just going to simply put that in there i'm going to steal the cookie out of this one throw the cookie in this one yeah. okay there we go sorry about that didn't mean to move everything around And then we're just simply going to take our outside piece that we just put together, put a little glue, liquid glue, stampin uh, seal or stampin seal plus will work. I'm just going to put that right in there, kind of center it ar around the box. Going to lay down my tag here. And what I did last time is I kind of cut it at an angle. So I kind of, uh, hmm, and here's the little tag we created. So I kind of just kind of glued it together like that. And then I just seriously cut it at an angle so I could position it where I wanted it. And then I popped my ribbon on top of that. And that's simply all I did. So let's go ahead and do that. And for that, I'm going to do a glue dot. Get all my scraps out of the way here. So I'm just going to take a glue dot, put it on the back of my tag here. I'm going to try and keep it right around pretty close that way. And I might cut just a little bit more off and then I'm going to kind of position that where I think it'll look good and then I will pop up my bow on dimensionals if I can find them I'm telling you it's been one of those weeks I guess it's been one of those years for most of us right <laughs> so again I just popped everything back up on dimensionals there and then I'm just going to kind of move this around to where I think it looks best. And I think it needs to come down just a little bit. Like so. Like that, and I like it. So to keep it from moving and me totally messing it up, I'm just simply going to take a glue dot, hold that down, lift my tag, Put a glue dot under there and put it back down that way well it didn't work <laughs> hi donnie 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 because the glue dot is still on there oh my goodness let's try it again so we're going to recenter our our bow and we'll put this back where we think it needs to be goodness sakes and I think that looks good. So I'm going to try it again. Glue dot on my pick, pick tool. Put it down. There we go. Now it's not going to go anywhere. Oh, great. I'm out of glue dots too. And then I'm going to take one more glue dot here. And I'm just going to simply put it behind there. And as you can see, it got all messed up but it doesn't matter because it's not going to show and just kind of center that and there you have it you have created a cute little gift box cookies candies gift cards um three by three cards and envelopes, fudge, whatever you want for Christmas. Just something simple and easy. There you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed the pro uh, project. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and I will catch you all again this time next week. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week, guys. Bye-bye for now.